one has ever done this in a car before. They have put a Formula One engine into this car. Now check this out. All right. You have these very sporty bucket seats. Now the interesting thing is these cannot be moved. The only thing that can move on this entire chair is the headrest. You can put it in this position or in another position. You can kind of move it forward or back. Now, if you can't move the chair, how do you reach the pedals, right? There is a cool little red tag here and you can pull this and as you pull it, the pedals will come towards you. Now, you see this cool button? So there's a big lever here which will open the door and you've also got a rear view camera now because of course you've got the engine right behind your head. Now you've got your updated screens here in the middle and the steering wheel, hello, obvious difference here in this car. This is very racy. Now, we're gonna start her up. So this is a little bit of a four step process. You press the start engine button once, these screens come on and then foot on the brake and we press it again. Now you see here the mode is currently in race safe mode. Okay, now we're gonna flick this. That's the engine on, now watch this. How freaking cool was that? So basically what I did, I took it into race safe mode, into race mode, and that's what happens. These gills come up, a spoiler came up as well. This is only legal on the race track. So if you're driving in around town, you've got to make sure that the gills are down, unfortunately. The wing is down, but hey, it still looks pretty cool. Come look at this. See this badge? This is not a sticker. This is actually 16 different layers of paint. And what I love about this is that they've even put in the little you know, as if it's like got a light shining on the badge itself. It's kind of shining in different corners, which makes it actually look like a real badge. Let's just take a look at the front of this car and the design. I love it. My favorite part about the design is actually the headlights. It's all kind of integrated into the body, right? So it's like when door handles are integrated into the body of the car like this, this is flush. Basically, it doesn't pop out from the body, right? This car obviously is built all around aero. So you're gonna see a lot of different design features here that are just based on making the car as aerodynamic as possible. So you see all these little carbon fiber bits here. So the air comes up here, this flings the air over this way, this flings the air up into the snorkel up the top and the same on this side. Now the back, I mean, come on, how freaking cool is this? You've got the shark fin. When this first came out, we were like, oh man, the shark fin is everything. I still think it's everything. And that obviously, is to draw all that air down into the Formula One engine, you guys. And I'm gonna show you too, because look what this does. If you go in here, there's a little button. Press this and this will pop off. Now you won't believe, <laughs> you can literally carry this around all day and not tire of it. Look how light this is. This is unbelievable. And then uh, here also you have another button. All right. They've taken years to actually make this work because as you can imagine, taking an F1 engine and putting it into a road legal car is just a feat on, a, on another level. This engine is a 1.6 litre V6. There are a couple of things that I've learnt that were the major complications. You know F1 cars, the engines, they actually have to be preheated before they can be turned on. Now in this one, obviously, you don't have a whole F1 team around you. So what you do, you plug your charger in, and what they've got is they've actually put internal heaters inside the engine, but you also have four electric motors. So you've got two in the front, so one on each wheel, one on the turbo, one in the engine itself. The total combined horsepower, you wanna know, right? 1,063. And from the combustion engine alone, it's 574. So everything else is from the electric motors. All right, wheels. These come standard. This is aluminium. Got 19 inch in the front and 20 in the back. Right, this is the AMG Project One by Mercedes. How freaking cool was that? Bye. Bye. I am 
in RS mode, which stands for race safe. That is hybrid mode. And basically the car will choose whether you use just electric, just combustion or a combo of both. I flick it to the left like this. Now I'm in full EV mode. Now EV mode, I can drive 230 kilometers an hour. So on the German Autobahn at top speed, <laughs> for about 15 kilometers, but still, that is super, super impressive. Now, there's another mode. I flick back through, race safe, and then watch what happens. Ready? Wait, I'll straighten up. I flick to the right. I'm now in race mode. The engine comes on. So you won't believe this guys, I actually get to drive this now on the track. I actually get to push this car to its limit. Top speed 350 kilometers an hour. Zero to 100 in 2.7 seconds. 